Hi Veronica, hi Siobhan. Just going to give it another few minutes. Those that are already online, if you just start taking some deep breaths in for me. Just starting to ground yourself. And we'll start the drumming soon. Lovely to see you all here. Okay, we're going to get started. Let's have a light. Let me turn this down a bit. Okay, welcome. I don't know if any of you saw... Hi, William, you're downstairs. I don't know if any of you saw the extra message that I put. Um, just saying if you want to bring um, a candle, any candle, um, and some sage or something with you. And it's okay if you haven't. Um, next week, if you want to, and if you have any to hand, then you can bring it with you. So before we start the journey, we're going to open up circle like I usually do. We're going to call on our ancestors. Um, and then I'm going to give you some tips now quickly as well on things to bring for next week. Just things to put together for your altar. So when we open up space, um, I like to have uh, kind of like an essential oil. Hi Edvish, like an essential oil or something. I always have rosemary and peppermint just to take a few deep breaths in. And it's always very grounding. So next week... You can do that for yourself as well. We start off with lighting our candle. And next week you can bring a candle with you too. If you did bring one with you now, go ahead and light your candle. And this is just to welcome in the ancestors. Normally we would light, um, it's the most basic candle we'd light um, for our ancestors is the white candle. But based on the fact that it's really hard to get to the shops and the shops are so limited on stuff, you know, if you have any candle, that's great. And if you don't, just sit with the energy around the candle that I have lit for all of us anyway. So as I said last week, I'm lighting him paper. If any of you have your sage with you or your, um, in, even an incense stick or anything like that, you can light yours with me. Hi, Olive. You can light yours with me now too. Just quickly, I want to say for the altar as well, anything you want to put on, like um, for your ancestors, if you're calling in them, you can have photos of them or something that reminds you of them. What I have is because I'm working with the Zulus and the Kozas when I do this work, is I bought these one of my, I think it was my first trip back to South Africa. And it just is for me a representation of my ancestors as well as the tribal people. And this is Lapis Lazulu. So I love it because it's protecting at the same time when we go on journey. So if you do have incense or anything like that, let's light it up. I am using Hempepu, which is the same really as sage grown on the land in Africa. And I just want to reach my feather. Just going to move this out the way. I'm just going to energetically send some from purple your way as well so if you take a nice deep breath in and then purple just helps us connect even stronger to our ancestors right uh, many of you would not have seen my tail yet because I don't travel around Galway with it um, but I am using it while I am online um, and this is where a lot of the power of the Sangoma lies um, is in the Sangoma's tail which has gone through ceremony um, and in one day I'll emphasize a little bit more on that but that's all you need to know now it just connects us even stronger 
Everyone, let's bring the candle back up so you can focus on that candle too if need be. Nice deep breath in and out. Marco, Siabonga, Makos. I call on the ancestors from the north, the east, the south, the west. I also invite you while I'm the calling on the ancestors, if any of you have shoes on, it is better if you do take your shoes off. Um, it's just in um, honoring of your ancestors. Mark of Makos. I call on the ancestors from the north, the east, the south, the west. I ask you to come down from the mountains, from the rivers, from the seas. I call you from the bushes, from the caves, the bushmen, Mark of Makos. I call on all of you today to surround us. I call on my maternal and my paternal ancestors, those that are in heaven that love, know and respect me always. I call on my guardian ancestors, the Palladian, the Lemurians, the Arcturians, the other galactic beings that I work with, the Fae folk that expect no contracts from me, those that know me already, Marco McCaws. I call on the ancestors of all that is here with us today um, online. And at this stage, if you want to say out loud your name and your surname for me. I call on their maternal line. I call on their paternal line. Those that are in heaven and that love, know and respect them only. And I call on their guardian ancestors as well. Wherever their guides may be, their animal guides, their angels, their fae folk. Whomever they're working with, the beautiful green man, which I know William is working with as well. Mark McCalls. I invite you into everybody's homes if they are open to you, receiving your energy and your healing today. Mark McCalls. And those that really want to go deeper, I ask you if they are willing and open to connect to you now. So sitting in your house at the moment, if you are open to connecting to your ancestors, then please acknowledge that with them now. Just by saying, yes, I am. Or welcoming them in, in, welcoming them in. Otherwise, I invite you to sit here with me and my ancestors as well. And those that are really wanting to connect to the ancestors, that are wanting to receive messages directly, that are wanting to feel them, to see them, or just to know that they are there with them, I ask you to make your presence known nice and subtly in tonight's journey, or just a, a lovely warm feeling around their shoulders or in their heart, knowing that they are not alone with you. Tonight that they are with you tonight, that you are here with all of us, Marco McCaws. And I call on my prophet, and I call on my water ancestors, Marco. I ask my prophet to journey with us tonight. I give my prophet permission to remove the veils from my eyes and to pass on any messages that is needed. And I ask the prophet to journey with me to show me where we are going. Deep breath in for me. And just another deep breath, a nice sigh on the way out. Mark, whom of course, welcome everybody. That is our circle open. Okay, so I pulled a card earlier this morning already when I did a cacao ceremony. And the card that I pulled was the, just bear with me call trying to come through the card that i pulled was the air guardian i love these cards okay so the air guardian is to i am sorry about that that was my cousin trying to get through from london so the card that we have today is in fact william if you're listening to this can you just get hold of walid and let him know that i'm um, we're doing a shamanic journey and i'll call him afterwards thank you okay so the car that I pulled today is called the Air Guardian, and we are working with shifting your perspective. Okay, so that was really interesting because there were two journeys. I couldn't decide which journey we were going to be going on um, tonight. So I asked the ancestors to give me some guidance. The one of the journeys, and this is the one that we're going to be doing, is... Um, we're going to go into the head. Last week we went into the heart and we changed the space of the heart. This week we're going to go into the head and we're going to change the space in our head. So it's, you know, most of the time you get told, you know, don't go to the head, come from your heart. Um, your soul is in your heart, your ego is in your head. And I do, I do agree with that, but we do need our head as well. And what we want to learn to do is to balance our head and to balance our heart. So a lot of times we need to be making decisions from both. So 
we aligned our heart yesterday and it's okay if you didn't do it last week because you can go back to this um, recording from last week and you can do the meditation in your own time. So this week now we're going to um, clear the head for us. Once we've cleared that head, because the head is really where all of those thoughts drop in, all of the fear, all of those negative energies, they come and sit in the head. Every time we're like, okay, I have this brilliant idea, this is what I'm going to do, a thought pops in and goes, no, you're not able to do that, or some other thought that weakens us and makes us believe that we can't do something, some old patterns and some rooted, deep-seated beliefs. So what we're going to do is we're going to start to shift that. We're doing a lot of work on the third eye tonight as well, very nice and slowly, because we don't want to blast that third eye open. And once we've worked on the third eye, we're going to take a look at how things are going to be looking for us through our spiritual growth while we are in quarantine. Now, I met this guy, I mean, I met him, I met him online, not like that, I met him like through friends of friends, and he calls it quarantine, and I love that, I love the fact that it's quarantine, so let's go on a journey, and remember, we're taking our ancestors, and we're taking the air guardian with us, so those of you that are, might be sitting in quite a bit of energy at the moment, remember last week I taught you, we can just start to release that energy, just imagine a beautiful shamanic fire around you, take a deep breath in, and out, feel that fire start to light around you, the shamanic fire just transmutes anything that we may be releasing tonight and just give it a nice big brush it off, brush off any energies that you've picked up today, all the way down your chest, your legs, go all the way down your legs, anything you may have seen on social media, in the news, heard from friends, just get it off the neck, Brush it all the way down, back of your legs. Deep breath in. Right. And now, arms up. Shoulders up. Just, I have a new candle. And just release it while I bring my ancestors back. I'll move the candle for a moment. Big deep breath in again. Just release that. One more. Now, any of you empaths that are sitting on um, tonight's journey, this is brilliant to do for the empaths. Cut all that crap off you. And you do it standing up preferably so you're like strong, feel yourself rooted into Mother Earth, okay? Let's start our journey. Eyes closed. Drum. Um. 
just taking a look around you as you walk. Still seeing the air guardian in front of you. Still feeling your ancestors behind you. And I want you to change this passageway to anything you want. You could remove the walls so you're completely outside in a beautiful magical forest. Or you can change the walls to something more natural like wood surroundings, clay, something more earthy. And as you walk down this corridor, I want you to light it up however you want.
Look at the vastness of the space. Already how much easier it is to breathe in this space. No restrictions. Nothing to hold you back. And in front of you, noticing a beautiful fire. And in front of this fire is a log. Sit down comfortably and warm your hands.
living in this forest with your ancestors and all of these beautiful earthly elements around you. Notice how strong you are. Remind yourself of who you truly are. to think that all that you have learnt of while you've been sitting in your home healing what all has this period this quarantine period taught you how is it healing you
vibration. What is the very thing, the one thing that you need to do for the rest of this week until we meet again?
Another deep breath in. One last deep breath in. Bringing your back in your body. your fingers. Give a good shake of your fingers. Stomp your feet. Wriggle those toes. Just start to rub your hands together. This is just to make sure that we're bringing you back in your body again. Feel the warmth in your hands. One last deep breath in. And out. Welcome back. I would love for you to drop a comment if you are enjoying these. I have extended this to happen every day while we are in this quarantine period, completely free of charge, of course. And every week we'll have something to work with. This week, I encourage you to keep working with the Air Guardian and to keep going into your head this time in a good place. Your head isn't a bad place anymore. Keep working with Mother Earth elements as well. Um, I don't know if you've seen on Facebook, but I've added another free event. So it'll be every Wednesday from this Wednesday coming all the way to the end of quarantine. And that's called the Holistic Hangout. It'll be by Zoom. The um, invite is on the Gentle Warrior Facebook page. So go and click on it and the Zoom details are there. Download Zoom on your computer and join us. Please do drop a comment, share with us. How was your journey? Do you have any questions? Ask away. Um, I will try and get to as many of them as possible. If you weren't sure about what you saw, I'll go on to here and give you some advice. Do ask me on here though. Um, you know, if you start messaging me separately, then I'll lose track of who I'm answering where. So 
drop any details you want um, over here as well and I will tell you and, and guide you on them. Um, and if you're loving it, then drop us a heart. The ancestors will love it. It's so good seeing you guys. Please stay strong. And remember, even on the days where you don't feel strong, you're human. It's okay. Welcome in the new world. Welcome in the new energy. Take this time to heal. And for those of you, it's um, 6 o'clock on Wednesday. Join me on Zoom. Email me, um, yourgentlewarrior at gmail.com. Any questions you have, because the format is, what do you want to know spiritually? How can I help you to give you tools, methods, just the encouragement, anything, um, courage in general that you need to get through this period? Bring a cuppa, we're going to sit down in the comfy of your home, and I'm going to answer those questions for you. So drop them to me by Tuesday night, um, and if not, we'll just do it on Zoom. This is a trial. I don't know how this is going to go. Come and experiment with me. Have a blessed week, and so much love to you all. Bye-bye.